Underground Minecraft bases are pretty popular, but what about ones full of redstone contraptions? What about ones full of automatic item farms? Do any of them even have super smelters? What I'm noticing about all these things is that they're all 3D. Ew, gross, yucky. I wonder how many of these contraptions I could fit into a completely flat 2D base. Well, there's only one way to find out. First thing your secret base is gonna need is a secret entrance. I'm thinking somehow we have like a piston door that like opens something like this, oops, like that. And then you kind of fall down the shaft, which I think will be pretty cool. But because we're gonna be using pistons, we can't be using ladders to get out of here. So what if instead we had a sticky piston? with a slime block on it. And then whenever you power this guy like this, wee! I jumped so high. I think I like this one. So let's make a plan. What I want to happen is that these two pistons fire and push these blocks out here. And then this one pushes that up and then it retracts and brings these back to open and close. This wouldn't normally be that difficult, except now we're stuck in 2D. So... First try. So now that we have the entrance working, we need to figure out how to hide the button. So I built this tree that we can place a button on and we can use some Java redstone magic to get that button to activate this piston. Such a beautiful tree. And if you guys don't know, there is a bug in Java edition of Minecraft where if we power this piston with quasi connectivity, then because this piston's technically being powered through the bug with this, whenever this button activates, it should activate the piston. <laughs> Minecraft is so bad. <laughs> so now we technically have a completely 2D flush one wide, I guess you call it entrance. I don't, I don't know the terminal. Oh, it's broken. What did I do? I haven't touched this. <laughs> so to finish off our entrance, all we need is the slime jump. It also wouldn't be a Mr. Cat video without command blocks. So I made this that spawns an armor stand and this that constantly teleports it out there. So now anytime throughout the video, I can use replay mod on that and get a 2D camera angle. So now let's give this a full test. If we hit this button, it should drop out the floor from underneath us and we're in our base. Let's make it a little wider. And then we can use this to close it up there. And then whenever we wanna leave, we'll stand over here, hit the button, and launch out here and we can close our door and be on our way. But now that we have our fully functioning entrance to our secret base, we need a way to get even deeper. And I think ladders and staircases are boring. So why don't we use a fully working elevator? And we're gonna need this sort of shape right here. So we can make these our slime block. Why are they blue in my hand? Why are they blue? <laughs> we'll need to outline them in obsidian like this. So if I do this right, Nothing happens. Okay, I think I fixed it. So we walk into our elevator, hit our button, take a ride down. That's pretty cool, big fan. And then we go out here into our other spot. Although I am gonna need to make this a lot deeper. And now that we have an entrance and an elevator all the way down, we can start our actual base. So the first big thing we're gonna add is a fully functional super smelter. I actually don't even know if this is possible to do in 2D, but we'll figure it out. But first, I wanna buy a popcorn machine for my movie room. So... This video is sponsored by the Stride Learning Network. Why is there just one tile of rain? <laughs> What is happening? Stride is a brand new public Minecraft server with tons of activities and chances to win real life cash. Check out the brand new survival server with custom plugins that add things such as temperature that affects different biomes and three different themed worlds. Head on over to the creative server to show off any builds you want and even compete in weekly building challenges to win up to $200. If you like games like Fall Guys and Only Up, you'll love their new minigame Clumsy Crew. Race the other players through tons of moving obstacles to avoid being eliminated. My favorite minigame was Redstone Puzzles, and I wonder if you can beat my times. But probably not. 
I'm pretty amazing. I'm pretty cool. I'm probably way faster than any of you guys. I'm like perfect. Stride is about to start hosting more weekly events too that offer additional cash prizes just for playing on the server. Join mc.stride.gg on either Java or Bedrock Edition to get started today. Super smelters are typically ways to smelt a ton of stuff at once using like either like mine cards or like a bunch of hoppers or something. And you can hide them in the ground like this. And I think that's what I want to do. Okay, I made a fake wall here next to the other one that we can practice on which brings us to our first issue to automatically put items into a furnace we need to have a hopper pointing into this hop and to automatically take them out we need to have a hopper pointing out of the bottom but in order to refill the fuel in the furnace we need to have a hopper pointing into the side of the furnace and you see if we're gonna make a super smelter in 2d there's not a way to do this and so my solution is to don't do don't do that no, oh, but, but don't do, don't do that part. I have a better idea we'll get to in a second. So now if we get a mine cart and put it down here, you'll see it'll take some out and start sorting it into the furnaces as it goes along. And then we'll have another one on the bottom that whenever it smelts, it'll take it out of here. And then we need to dump it into a chest. But oh my gosh, I need to stop all this noise is driving me insane. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now the minecarts only move whenever they need to. And so now that we have all of our minecarts moving the way they're supposed to, we need to figure out how to get the items out of them. There we go, like this. And now whenever the minecart stopped, everything that's inside of it will dump into this chest. But what if I don't want it to be like this? What if instead I'd rather have the chests be like up here in like the same room? Like we have one little room right here. You come down like a ladder. You put all your stuff in this chest, it smelts, and then it comes out of this chest. I think, I think that sounds swell. Except that also means I have to make it. So here's the room I designed, which has a chest over here to put the raw stuff in. And then the cooked stuff comes out here. And hooking up the raw one is easy enough. We're just going to stack a couple hoppers there. And so there you go. That's, that's done. But in order to get this stuff all the way up here, we're going to need to do something a little annoying. We need to get these items to run into this hopper right here. And we do that with water. I'm going to give myself some structure voids so that we can place water without it running outside of the thing. And now if we break this, we should be able to make a water pillar that goes all the way up to the top and whoops, drops the items into the hopper. <laughs> and we have a soul sand down here that makes it a bubble column that shoots the items up really fast. And now we just need to find a way to make this dispenser shoot all over the, 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 the empty everything inside of it up into the water. So I found this design by King Django 13 that seems to work super well. So now if I get a stack of stuff and put it in here, it should, whoops, let's put a barrier there instead. It should dispense them all up into the water and then that will drop them into the hopper and into the chest. Although if you didn't catch it, there were a couple items that were stuck in the stair block here. Oh, what is wrong with my zoom? In the stair block here. So I think I'm gonna need to move all this over one block to the left. Okay, so now it should be impossible for items to get stuck up here and they should just go straight into the chest. Although looking at this, I think it actually might be a little bit laggy. Not that it would be super noticeable, but it would help if we put some composters over these hoppers whoops just so that they're not constantly active looking for items we can do that one here and then if we really want to maximize it we should be able to replace stone with sea lanterns here just to make sure there's no lighting update lag and with that our super smelter should technically be finished although we still need a way to get down to the furnaces and fill them with coal. So here's my solution. I lowered it down two blocks and then made this little hallway up here. Let me go into survival. And you can go super fast on the ice down the ladder. And then there's a trap door down here that lets you crawl in and you can go to each furnace. Why is there still, Why? What? what is happening? So here's our finished design and I just need to build it again. Oh boy. And time, there it is. Which brings us to the next section, which is filling our base with as many different farms as possible. But looking at this, I feel like we should be able to expand this ladder all the way up to here. That could be fun. I'm thinking the easiest farms we could do would be maybe like a bamboo and a sugar cane and just do like the common redstone one. So let's like maybe make a little cutout, put some sand here, whoops. And it should look something like like this and then we have an observer 
and like a piston and then like a piece of redstone that's probably right so if we yeah okay so what if we stack a bunch of these all the way down and then have them push off into like a little collection thing down here so now here we have our more extended farm section right here although we could use a bit more glass all the way up and down here so all we need to do is put a double chest and a hopper on top like that and whenever they grow be pushed off into the thing there'll be barriers here so they won't fly off the map but they will land here and go in the chest and then up here we can have different rooms so maybe like this could be the bedroom so let's get a bed there classic you know what we can probably add a nice little painting where's the funny guy give me the funny guy give me the funny <gasps> the funny guy and then this could be whatever room you want this to be maybe you have your workbench cartography table smithing table and then look at this we can get a little sheep farm and an aquarium I, that guy's kind of teleporting out of the block we're making good progress i also decided to flip the farm over this way just so we have twice as much farm going on while we're taking use of using the same space right here <gasps> What if we change this hallway into a lava farm? So we actually have infinite fuel growing in our base for our super smelter. And there we go. Now we have an infinite lava farm that may not be super fast, but every time you get a lava bucket, you get a hundred things to smelt in here. How does this keep happening? Where did... Where is this coming from? I also moved everything down one block so that now we can fit a second row of a lava farm here. And honestly, it's kind of a pretty good use of space. I'm kind of proud of this. I want to add a full skeleton farm somehow right here at the end of the base for infinite XP. This is the design we'll be going with where they kind of just spawn in this ice water here. Slide over into the elevator. I did not press W. It launches me up down and then I drop hopefully landed half a heart I haven't counted and made sure yet but that should be long enough and then you killed them all right there and this is what our fully working skeleton farm looks like attached to the base so now we'll put the farms on hold while we make a storage system and then we'll link more farms on the other side of the storage system I just want to make sure it's in like the middle of the base what if we use a water elevator that goes down and has a button that sends it back up so here's the design I figured out which uses a block swapper designed by command leo but essentially you'll just stand in here and when you click on this note block it changes between going up or down I think I missed one there so this goes down we press this to go up and then we'll need a way to press one up here so that it goes down again. All right, this should work. So now if I, whoops. So now if I go in here, I can click this to change it to go upwards. And see, we can't go down, but if we click this one, it will change and pull us back down. Ain't that cool? Look at that! So now I've installed the water elevator, which works perfectly fine. And I've also filled in the blank space with a nether wart farm, a potion brewing station, and an enchanting room. But that brings us to this room. And for this room, I want to have a storage system on the bottom and a villager trading hall at the top up here. And I think the easiest way to do that is probably to set some iron bars up here for the villagers to stand on, to put one on each spot right here and then let's get some job blocks maybe we have a bunch of lecterns maybe we have some fletchers and now i hope that these guys can actually see those job blocks they might not be able to but i can hope okay so one they don't see them and two they escaped so all right so i'm gonna try a different layout here that kind of forces them into their own thing oh yeah that's definitely working look at that look at those guys and because of the iron bars whoops we should be able to reach them from under here look at that so for the storage system, I remembered something from a mumbo jumbo video a long time ago where he did something like this and to get up and down he used these little slime jumpers. And I mean, I did think about just making the chest waterlogged so you could swim up and down them, but I think this is a lot more fun. So credit to mumbo, funny mumbo, mumbo jumbi. And so here's one of them installed. I think it's actually going to be perfect because you can easily jump over them and then whenever you want to go down, you just hold shift and you can go any of these chests and when you want to get back up you just walk over this way it's as easy as that and now this should be fully finished for the storage system at least and it should be able to expand in this direction infinitely whenever you need more villagers or more storage or whatever and you can pretty easily just hop over look around maybe i want hmm let's see i want this chest no actually hmm actually i want um this chest no actually wait i want no, that was the right one wait come back which means this is now our full view of the outside of the base but you may notice there's a big gap right here and i have just the idea 
for what to put there. If you take a look around the base, you may notice that there's two major things standing out that we don't have. One is food. We don't we don't have any food anywhere. And two, we have Fletchers, but no wood to trade to them. So I say we add a ladder right here in between the storage and the bones for a tree. And down here we'll have a tree farm that leads to a honey farm. Now I don't know if this is actually enough room to grow trees, but I mean, maybe, maybe it is. So then to test our farm, we'll grab a bunch of bone meal from our bone meal farm. We'll head down the ladder to our tree room. We'll go right here, try to plant a sapling. And there we go, <laughs> infinite trees. And then we'll continue down the hallway and we'll make a bee farm over here. This is what the classic El Mango honey bottle farm looks like. These. And so what I think we can do is literally just take one slice out of this and then mirror them on both sides. And so here's what I built, which is exactly the same thing, just sideways and colored differently. And so how it should work is the bees come out of the hive. They use the flower. When they go back in, if you look on the right here, um, over here, it says honey level two. Whenever this gets to, I believe five, then this comparator will power this dispenser, bottle the honey, and then hopefully it'll land down here, get picked up by the hopper and put into this chest. Uh, the only reason I wouldn't do that is because we need more barriers, but eh, we'll, we'll figure it out. And so there's one food farm done, but that means up here we need a wheat farm and a cow farm. So I think what I want to do is make the entity cramming cow farm I usually make because it's super easy and kind of fun. And so I'm thinking we probably put the cows here and then the wheat farm over here. And then if we ever want to expand in the future, we can keep adding layers of the wheat farm all the way up there. And so here we have three cow entity cramming chambers. And so how this works is you spawn a bunch of cows in each of these and then not there and then once you have enough cows the baby ones will live because of their size and the adult ones will die instantly so you literally just get a bunch of wheat and then hold right click on these it'll breed new cows and the old ones will die and you just have infinite cows in little holes and then all their loot will fall into these hoppers and move over into this chest and then over on this side i would like to place four and four dirt with a water source in the middle. And then we should have a hoe to plant some farmland. And just like that, we now have a full crop tower over here. So now let's take a full 2D tour of our entire ultimate underground 2D Minecraft base. Whatever, whatever other words I could fit in there. So our base begins on the surface. By walking over to this very innocent, unsuspecting tree, there's totally nothing suspicious below me. I'm going to hit this button. I wonder what that does. Oh, I've fallen into a secret tunnel. Oh boy. We're gonna walk over here to our new elevator. Have a little ride down. And oh, look at this. It's our aquarium where all the fish drown. It's our sheep farm of all the different cool colors. It's a bunch of tables. It's a red bed. Same color as the subscribe button. That's kind of crazy. <gasps> oh, would you look at that? We're in our base. Let's go down to, let's see, we have a nether wart farm, a brewing stand room, an enchanting room, some coal over there. Let's try and smelt some stuff. I'm gonna put 64 beef in this chest. We'll come back later and see how well that smelted. But for now, let's go back up. Over here, we can check on the contents of, oh wow, there's actually a lot of bamboo and sugar can in here. I've been here a long time. But if we go over here, we can see we have a fully functioning skeleton spawner. It, although it, it did make it daytime. I should probably make it nighttime, but uh, it would work if, you know, the lighting was right. Down here will take us to our tree farm. We're gonna need a lot of saplings or a lot of uh, bone meal to get these to grow, but you know, it'll be fine. And then we go this way to all our different food farms. We got, we can hear cows up there. We got our bees over there. We got all of our different crop farms that are growing. And then let's go check out our next area, which is, oh, our water elevator's the wrong way. Now, what are we gonna do about that? Bam, oh, I missed it, bam. And now we're gonna go down the water. <gasps> Whee! Whee! And then we make it, and then, oh, would you look at this? We got a villager trading hall. I can reach them between the bars. I got the, the mumbo chests, because those are cool. Those are pretty fun. Look at how much fun I'm having. Oh, I'm amazing. But we still need to see how our super smelter's been doing. And would you look at that? Some fresh steak! Don't forget to subscribe to see new videos. And speaking of that, I've actually been editing three videos at the same time. So be sure to follow me on Twitter for updates on all that stuff. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, please.